Hey viewers, and welcome to, a, to episode 4 of Let's Play Darksiders 2. I think it's 4 anyway. Uh, in the last video, we went a little bit over on time, and we uh, went and explored Tristone, uh, found how, how to uh, do shops, how to learn skills, met some awesome people, and we met up with Volgrim, you know, from the first game. And actually, you know, it's, it's pretty nice seeing a familiar face, so to speak. So uh, let's see what this guy has to sell us. I have new items, if you have the so, potion. We set, so we can use this and it'll reassign all of our our skill points, I guess. And this we've got, uh, so we can buy boxes that have random items in them. Is that it? That, yeah, so we can't learn skills from him anymore, I guess, in this game. You can't do that, but... Okay, so, I think I might want to try out one of these, just to see if, it, if it's worth it, you know, what you can get. So, I guess it, it costs a thousand coins, and I think that, that symbol is a boatman coin that we found. So, let's, let's try that out. Let's buy one. So, Vagabond Greaves. Critical damage plus 4%, 9 defense. I hope that's worth it. I think that's a lot better than what we have equipped, but let's find out. Oh yeah, a lot better. And we get that critical damage bonus, but I don't know. I think we've only critted once, but it's the same look as what we had, but it's, it's a lot better, I guess, so that's cool. Awesome, so uh, we got some new boots. Let's go. Alright. Might as well get on uh, despair here. Wow, it's awesome that there's so much, you know, scenery in this place. In fact, there's, there's a lot to explore. The first game was very, very linear. You know, you didn't have a lot of options, but this game, this is a full-fledged adventure, you know. Exploration game, it's awesome. More corrupted golems. I guess these golems were like, sentinels of the old ones that got corrupted, I guess. Like, they... They were like that weapon, the weapons like that giant one that they said that they made but they couldn't use. Alright, I wonder if this game scales up its level based on us or if it's all the same set. Money? Treasure! A sa- wow, a savage hammer! Nice, and there's that potion to put us back up to five, I believe. I think that weapon's a lot better than our axe. I mean, unfortunately- oh, wow, yeah, and it's green, so I guess it's rare, too, but... That'll boost our damage by, like, 20 to 40, wow, and piercing. Now, why does the hammer do piercing damage? I mean, like, if, if it had, like, a spike on it, maybe, but that's... Wow, I think that's bigger than our other one was, but... Wow, that's nice. Oh, wow. Dude, even war's weapons are like that big. What's that? Did we get that? I guess not yet. But let's try and remember that that's their viewers. That might be important later. So let's try out our new weapon! Unsuspecting gentlemen. Oh! Nice! I think I'm in love. But let's go. There's another chest. Hey, there's chests everywhere, I guess. I got no problem with that, though. Oops. Ah! Uh, see, we just got boots. Why couldn't we have gotten something? Come on, pick it up. Why can't it pick it up? Oh, there it goes. I don't know, I must be doing something wrong. We might as well kill everyone we find at this point. You know? Just to get all the levels we can. Alright, go. 
I like how these are like circular doors. Like we saw a little bit of those in the Grievers area where Wolfane lived. But you know, we're, we're seeing them all over the place now because like th this is where they came from. Something up here. Chester. Here we go. Back first. The last thing I want is to stab in the back while I'm trying to destroy my, my dude goodies. Don't judge me, I call them goodies. I don't care. Oh, a glaive! Nice! So, what's this? I don't know, should we use this? I mean. It's got higher low damage, but not as high high damage, and it doesn't have the piercing. So I, I, I guess the Savage is probably better. But let's just see what this looks like. Holy crap, like this is just ridiculous how awesome and gigantic these weapons are. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the hammer for now. It, it's probably the best thing to have equipped. Those boots I don't think are as good. The defense isn't as high, and there's there's not the crit thing. I don't know, the gift on I don't know. More boots, because that's all we can find. This is I mean, place for holes. Death must have a <laughs> shoot better than something else. He's kind of, you know, maybe he doesn't. I mean, not that you, you have to be more empathetic. I mean, I'm not saying that. Try some force combat. That's alright. Okay, so there's, there's multiple guys here, so let's go ahead and try our ability. Uh, Man, he caught us there. So what they'll do, I guess, is they're, 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 they're going to distract people, you know? Can't we see what's happening? Dang, we're even busting. These construct force can be tough. Kill them. I have to hammer some more. Finish him! Killing blow! Is that the last one? There's more over there, but it looks like they respawn pretty quick. I'm trying to sneak by this one. Man, that hammer is impressive. There's some kind of chest in here. Okay, speaking of chests, I've got to say, you know, I, I, I played through, uh, what was it, Dark Souls, um, this last year. And here we go. And, and, um, I was at the very end of Anor Bondo, if, if you played the game, you know, where, um, I, I, I just fought, like, the, the twin bosses. You know, the, the lightning one, and you know, the fat one, whatever the name was. I just, oh my God, I just played them, and I get done, and I go up the elevator, and right in front of the door, the, you know how you can, like, write on the walls and leave messages to uh, other players to help them? Well, it said, um... Sweet, that worked. Um, it, it said, uh, awesome chest ahead. So I was like... Okay, you know, th there's probably some pretty cool uh, treasure inside. So I walk in, and Gwyneth is sitting there. And, and uh, Gwyneth is uh, Gwyn's daughter. She's like the princess of lightning. I don't know what she is, but she's sitting there, like completely bare chested. It's the most amazing thing in gaming of all time. I, uh, I loved it. I'm such a teenage guy. Where is this chest at? We gotta climb like all the way up the tower, I guess. Climb this, right? Yeah. Okay. They're really gonna make us work for this chest. There it is. There's a lot more options open for exploration now that we can, you know, like, move around like all air and stuff. New sides, I think. Are these better than what we've got? Yes, they are. Well... I don't know, because, you know, the, the question... It's not really much of a difference. One's got one higher maximum, one has one higher minimum. So I'm, I'm just gonna go by what they look like. 
Okay. <laughs> These ones definitely win. Awesome sides now. That's that's awesome. What are those blue things? Are those important? That's the second one we found so far. Keep going. We're getting close to where that guy is. Charred path, so this is where we had to go to reach corruption, right? right. Oh, close. There's a lot to see in this world though, guys. Seriously. Chest here too. Check this out. I'm sorry to get the hang of this. You know, I I, I played through all of Assassin's Creed one and two. I I haven't played any other ones yet, but I got pretty good at those games. So this, I'm pretty sure, just has to. I I, I just have to get used to it. You know. If these are boots. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, money and wrap are better than what we've got, I think. Hopefully they look better. I mean, I, I don't like the look of what we've got on now, to be honest, viewers. But... No, but it's the same thing. Whatever. There's gotta be something in here. See, there's one of those blue things. What other purpose would this room have? You know, like, those have to be important, you know? To some extent. Something shooting. No, it's just like ashes in the air, I guess. Let's just going. Place for a horse. The charred pass. Man, press the wrong button. Instead of dashing, jumping off the stair. Death Mountain in the, or like Mount Doom in the background, you know. We've already seen a lot, seen a lot of variation in areas, you know, which in the first game. Is that who I think it is? In, in the first game, you really didn't uh, know that that's not who I thought it was. Like at, at this point, we would have seen Human Land, and we would have seen Twilight Cathedral Land, where it's all like skeleton places and stuff. That's pretty much it. And in this place, you know, we've already seen a snowy place. We've seen, uh, like, a nature, like, dwarf city place. We've seen a, a charred, you know, hellish domain sort of area, you know. Which is awesome. You know, let's, let's crash this. We might actually, like, really die. Let's, uh, summon the guy to help them. Alright, come on. Why are they all chasing me and not this guy? There we go. Well, they hit a lot. You know, they, they do low damage, but they attack really fast. So that'll be useful when I can't get bad guys off. The tears be true. He kind of looks like he's insane, but he doesn't air. have the hair. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. I walk. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Who are you? More different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> <laughs> Just I what I was no thinking. Less for you. Folks around town call me Pop or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Car. So he he's like a it is there. a kid. As you will, not I guess, not to compared me. to the other ones. He's pretty young. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. That sounds the really dirty. Is locked up well and Popping tight, the cork. And the way through is swallowed <laughs> by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Now that's the easy way out. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. 
Her craft is mighty powerful. So I think powerful. the blue statements mean that they're about our quest, mine. and the other ones we'll are. We'll find extra. stalkers prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> hmm. So the guys that we need to get the stuff from, at least the first stuff, they're all by uh, the cauldron anyway. So we're, we're, we're heading in the right direction. But I'm glad we got that quest. But that's all the time I have for this episode. You know, we've gone through this awesome area of uh, the charred path. You've seen some great new places. That people kick some ass. And uh, next time we'll enter into the temple, I guess, and, and start on further with our quest. You know, to try and get that talisman. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever. Uh, catch the next videos if you can. This is Heretic Plus, signing out.